Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to learn how to interpret a graph, which has many useful applications in biology. First, let's look at the parts of a graph. Every graph, if done correctly, should have a title. The title should describe what is shown on the graph. In this case, the dark fur allele frequency in a field mouse population over time. Every graph should also have appropriately labeled axes. There is the x-axis, in this case it is time in years with the years labeled from 2008 to 2014. Every graph also has a y-axis, that is the vertical one. This y-axis is the allele frequency expressed as a percent, here from 10% to 60%. Now let's look at how to interpret what we see on the graph. Each point represents a coordinate where a percentage was measured, for example 10% in a given year, here 2008, or approximately a little over 20% in 2010, up to about 60% in 2014. So you can see that this graph does show the change in allele frequencies over time. If you were asked, for example, what was the approximate frequency of the dark fur allele in 2011, this is how you would find it. Go to 2011 on the x-axis, and then measure up until you hit the line, and then measure over to the y-axis. This shows that in 2011, the dark fur allele frequency was approximately 30%, just a little bit higher. You can also do this from the other direction. That is, if you are asked in what year did the dark fur allele make up 50% of the population, you go to the 50% on the y-axis, draw across, and then down to the x-axis, and you would see that it is approximately 2013, sometime during 2013, when the 50% mark was reached. So this is how you interpret graphs to discover biological trends. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.